Hey guys, so today we are creating this amazing pretty woman cake from the movie Cheetah Girls World Tour. It's stunning. I love the sparkly lipstick. I love the eyeshadow. So let's get started. My name is Julia Roberts. Yep. <laughs> Today we're making Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Doesn't she look so pretty for, for being Ursula? She looks very pretty. But to create this cake, I'm using an egg cake that I baked in my egg cake pan. Oh, you can't find this cake pan? I know, I'm sorry. They discontinued it, but there are alternatives on Amazon. I'm also using a 12 by five inch cake pan. Is it 12 by five? I think so. I'm just leveling off both of my cakes and placing them onto my cake board. Now I've created a stencil that's the shape of Ursula's face. I'm gonna place that on top, and then I'm gonna place my egg shape on top of that. Now to create this, I'm using the egg as a guideline for the bottom of her head, and then I'm using my stencil as an outline for all of her hair. I'm gonna take off the top layer of cake and the stencil and just pull away the excess cake. Now I'm gonna add some buttercream into the middle of my cake, and I'm not gonna place it everywhere. I'm just gonna place buttercream on the parts of the cake that are gonna be sandwiched in between the egg cake. Spread it out with my offset spatula. Don't you love this color? It's like a seafoam green. It's a vanilla cake that I dyed seafoam green. Pretty spectacular, such color, you guys. Place my egg cake on top, and then to create the front of Ursula's hair, I'm just using some cake scraps and gluing them on with some buttercream. And then I started to carve my cake. First, I carved out Ursula's big mouth. She's got a big mouth, talks a lot, sings like the devil. I tried to make this as deep as possible and just cut away as much cake as I can on the inside. I started to carve away the shape at the top of her head and I really started to shape the eyes. Her eyes are a lot lower than her like chinny chin chins. Her chin game too strong, you guys. Her chin takes up so much of her face, it's incredible. I mean, there's so much like voluptuousness in her chin, I didn't actually have to carve anything. I just left it as round as I could. I gave my entire cake a crumb coat. And my, look how smooth this crumb coat is. When you're not making a cake in 30 minutes, the buttercream works with you just fine. But as soon as you set a timer, your buttercream just like seizes up and it's like, no, 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 no. We're not friends anymore. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you guys, I started this series called Cakes in Under 30 Minutes or 30 Minute Cake Challenge or I Made a Cake Super Fast. I haven't decided on a title yet, but it's one of those. And while this Ursula cake took me about seven hours, give or take a few, several hours, I created an Ursula cake in under 30 minutes and it came out just fantastic. Best cake I ever made, looks so beautiful. Go watch the video. Now I crumb coated every single part of this cake. Her big old chin, inside her eyes, all over her hair. And when I was finished, I placed it into the fridge to set for about two hours. Now after my cake was done chilling, I added another chin. She got a really good double chin. The first chin, I thought that if I carved it out of cake, it would get lost. So I decided that I was just going to place on some fondant to create it. The same thing with her nose. I thought her nose, because it's really small, I thought that would get lost as well. So I created that out of fondant too. Now once everything was in place, I added on top a huge, huge piece of purple fondant. Now before like smoothing out the ends of the fondant, I tried to push it into her mouth as much as I could. That's what she, I just wanted to make sure that there was enough fondant in the mouth that it wouldn't tear as much when I started to push it down. After that, I used some fondant tools and made sure that I worked around her first chin, separating it from her second chin, because you want to make sure that you can differentiate the first chin from the big old second chin. Then I started to work my fondant all the way down my cake. And I just pulled away the excess fondant. This is like my favorite part. It looks so clean. Let's look at it in slow-mo. Wow. Let's put some music in slow-mo. Holy moly. Wow. This is my favorite part of the video. <laughs> I give this video two thumbs up just for that. Now one thing I probably should have addressed right away is Ursula's nose. Fondant stiffens up pretty fast. I should have started to shape it as soon as I did the first chin or even before the first chin. 
but I didn't because I forgot, so I'm doing it now. And now I'm like under the clock because I wanna make sure that this fondant doesn't crack. I'm just using some fondant tools to create the bridge, and then I'm just pushing in the middle and just creating two holes underneath for her nostrils. I'm always scared that I'm gonna overwork the nose and it's gonna be like misshapen. You know, I don't want a botched nose job. And I started to shape her mouth. And then I went back to creating her nostrils just to use some fondant tools to create the sides. Make sure I got this itty bitty nose just right. Her nose is so petite. It's like you could fit 10 noses in her first chin and like 45 noses in her second chin. I'm gonna give her some smile lines. I think it's so funny that somebody so evil has so many smile lines. Um, come on now. You are the devil. I pushed the fondant into her mouth and it broke a little bit, but that's okay. I'm gonna fill her mouth with something else. That's what she- And once I was happy with her nodes, I started to work on her eye sockets. Just making sure that I created some creases and crow's feet for her eyes. And then I gave her some brow wrinkles. She got a lot of brow wrinkles. Her forehead looks like shoe leather. Now the wrinkles are what I found extremely difficult because I was working with the animated drawing, which was a still from the Little Mermaid movie. And to make this more realistic, I kind of had to imagine and make up where all of these wrinkle lines were. I should have added more texture to it, but I got really scared that I was gonna be like, too much? And so that's why I kind of stopped myself. The detail and the texture would have made this look more realistic, but now it kind of just looks like halvesies. Now I added two white eyes to Ursula's face and this looks terrifying, man. If I just left it like this and posted this video on Halloween, I could scare a lot of kids. Purple face, white eyes, and no teeth. The teeth are what freak me out the most. It reminds me of that picture of Cameron Diaz where they took out her teeth. Oh God, that's so nasty looking. <laughs> now let's create her hair. Now I added a large piece of gray fondant to create her hair. And initially I was gonna give her widow's peak with this layer, but I decided that I was gonna create the widow's peak with another piece of fondant. So I cut this one off. I'm just using some fondant tools to have this realistic sort of water wave. You know, she's underwater, her hair just like, ooh, it flows so gracefully. And to add more texture to her hair, I'm adding pieces of fondant just around the rest of her hair to give it some depth. I'm creating some very generic wavy lines at first just to blend the fondant into the rest of the cake. Then I went back with a needlepoint fondant tool just to add a little bit more texture and create some hair follicle looking pieces. I'm just going to add some random pieces of fondant to create some, to create some wavy hair lines. Each piece has the same sort of treatment. First, very generic wave lines. And then I went back and made them look like hair follicles. Adding all of like the hair follicle details is, I thought that was very rewarding. Especially when I add the needle point, it looks so realistic or like realistic halvesies. Cause not completely realistic. The devil's in the details, you guys remember that. This hairstyle's perfect, right? I mean, for Ursula, if any other person had this, you would just question their life choices. And once I was happy with Ursula's hair, I started to work on her mouth. I needed to do something with it because this like gummy smile was freaking me out. I added some maroon colored fondant into the inside of her mouth, pushed it in very carefully so that it wouldn't tear, and then cut away the excess with an X-Acto knife. I'm gonna add her teeth with a single piece of white fondant. I just separated it a little bit so that it looked like separate teeth. One for the top and then one set of teeth for the bottom. It still looks pretty freaky looking, um, but I think it really improved when I added the pink fondant to create her tongue. It's so bright and pink and it looks like a real person's tongue. Now using some black fondant, I created some eyelashes. I did the exact same thing to create her top eyelash, except with a thicker piece of black fondant so that her upper eyelash would be more luscious looking. Now, these are like extremely glamorous fake lashes that you buy at CVS or Rite Aid or whatever drugstores buy your house. Then I gave her some blue eyeshadow. Is that what that is? That's this, right? That's this part, right? Yeah, I don't know, maybe, probably. It's so dramatic, huh? Because it's so sparkly, it's giving her the red blonde look. Or it could be that she's born with it, or maybe it's Maybelline also. 
I'm adding a little bit of diluted black food coloring just to emphasize the wrinkles underneath her eyes. Just give her some crow's feet. She an old lady. Old wicked lady. She got a lot of crow's feet. And this is where I messed up because I placed her eyebrow too low. So I'm gonna leave it for now and I'm just gonna fix it later on in the video. Then it was time to work on her lips and I love, love, love the color of this lipstick. It's just red pearl luster dust and I actually added a little bit of red food coloring as well. Painting it onto her lip just looks so luxurious. That top lip man, this is looking really good. Almost Kylie Jenner good, almost. I just used some red lipstick on the top and the bottom lip as well. And I kind of wanted her bottom lip to be even more juicy. So I use that term too much when I'm talking about lips. So I created a piece of bottom lip fondant to make it look big. Like she just got some Botox. And I just attached it to the bottom part of her mouth. And then I just painted on some red lipstick to match it to her top lip. Ooh, that's looking bomb. I love that color. It's so bright. Doesn't look terrifying anymore, huh? You're starting to see Ursula, right? Once I finished with her mouth, I started to work on her eyes. I'm just using a little bit of orange and black food coloring to add some depth to the outside of her eyes. And then I used some blue and green food coloring to add some color to the cornea. Now I did add two black dots to give her some pupils, but I didn't like them. It didn't look realistic. I just didn't... I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. So I took a Q-tip, I wet it with a little bit of magic sauce, and then I just wiped them away. And I love the way this looks. Kinda looks like she got glaucoma or something. Like she's under a spell or something. Or maybe she's putting you under a spell. And this is where I fixed my mistake. I wet another Q-tip with some magic sauce and just wiped away her eyebrow mess. Uh, we are looking for drama and this eyebrow wasn't dramatic enough. I added some more eyeshadow to add some drama to under her brow. What is that area called? Uh, you tell me, I'm too lazy to look it up. And then I added a very nice dramatic arch to the top of that. Looking back now, this could have been even more dramatic, but I'm good with this, it's okay. After that, I added a very Ursula looking ear. This doesn't look realistic at all. And then I added some stunning million dollar shell earrings. I just painted them with a little bit of purple color dust. And voila, my Ursula cake was complete. She looks so glamorous, huh? You know in the anime movie, you don't get the shine of the lipstick, you don't get the shine of the eyeshadow. These million dollar earrings aren't sparkling. Yo, there's so much missing. But you get it all here, don't you? I love the way this came out. That double chin is looking so good. Now, like I said, this cake took me about seven hours to create and I wanted to see if I could do it in 30 minutes. So I've got another video where I attempt to recreate this cake in 30 minutes. And wow, seven hours wasted because the results on that 30 minute cake were phenomenal. Phenomenal. Now make sure you check out all of my Little Mermaid cakes. This one in particular, it's one of my favorites. The watercolor effect. Phenomenal. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace.